from the Evening Standard in London. I'm David Marsland and this is The Leader. If you weren't seeing it for yourself, you probably saw it on social media. Torrential rain hit London and some of the city streets just couldn't handle it. London Fire Brigade took more than a thousand calls for help during the lashing. It wasn't just the streets. Parts of the central line were suspended as engineers tried to repair flood damage. So how did this happen? Evening Standard reporter Rachel Burford has been looking at that. Rachel, just how bad was London affected by those rains? It was obviously pretty bad. We saw a lot of people stuck in cars last night for three hours in the sort of southwest London. This morning, Whipped Cross Hospital in East London was still diverting ambulances away, um, has cancelled all planned operations. Um, and he's still trying to cl- um, clear flood water after the basement was flooded, which really affected the, the electricals there. So I think there's a lot of people have been really disrupted uh, last night and going into today while the sort of cleanup happens. Yeah, you've been speaking to those people who have been doing those cleanups. I mean, what have people been telling you about their experiences? The thing that comes across from them is it just happens so quickly. Oh, this is mud. Oh, hey, June, are you might as well dive in? People were sort of saying one minute it was fine and then suddenly it started raining and then minutes later they had water pouring into their letterboxes, raw sewage flooding their gardens, which has happened to quite a lot of people in East London, particularly around that sort of Waltham Forest area, um, just when the sewage, the drains just couldn't cope with the sudden influx of water it had. There was an enormous amount of rain yesterday. I was watching it coming down outside and into my garden which nearly flooded but not quite last night so that was that was a narrow escape I think for me but how how can you know one of the world's leading cities end up in a situation where some rainfall causes so much disruption well uh, it's a really good question um and I think one of the sort of answers is that London has been built up very quickly in particularly in the last sort of few decades and our sewage system is still quite old as you know those drain the drainage system is still was built a lot of it built by the Victorians and it's just not prepared to cope with that amount of people that are using it you know you've obviously got all the rivers around us so there's a, there's a lot of answers um to that question you know the urbanization that's happened the amount of people that are sort of connected to the the drainage system um you know talking to sort of experts this morning they were saying this the urban drainage system just needs to be updated, essentially. But it's a very difficult thing to do in a city like London, which has got so many people. Yeah, I mean, is there a likelihood of that drainage system being updated? Are we just going to be seeing this over and over again as more rain comes? Yeah, well, I mean, we saw it two weeks ago, didn't we? Um, predominantly in sort of the Notting Hill area. It's really bad. Uh, kind of, yeah, up to, up to my knees. It's a good question. It's something that Thames Water, I'm sure, are going to be working on. But at the moment, every time we get big bouts of rain like this, yes, it does seem that we're going to be flooding. Yeah, I'm wondering if we're just going to have to learn how to live with this kind of thing, because I don't think... I mean, there were a lot of uh, videos on, on Twitter yesterday of people trying to drive cars into mass amounts of water and that sort of stuff. Is this something that London's going to have to learn to live with? It does look like it at the moment, doesn't it? It's happened twice this month now. It's certainly, I think, something that the fire brigade would like to be sorted out, though, because it's they've taken over a thousand calls now. They were, you know, rescuing people from cars um, in a little dinghy, <laughs> people that are driven into floodwaters. Um, they've had a, a really sort of tough night. So I think it's something that, you know, the fire brigade is definitely going to be saying, let's get this sorted out because we can't have this happening twice a month. When might it happen again, Rachel? Are we expecting any rain soon? Good question. The weather forecast looks like it's sort of petering out, um, but obviously it's very changeable. Um, we're supposed to be in summer, so you'd hope we wouldn't be getting too much rain in, um, you know, July, August time, but you never know with Britain, do you? But looking, I think we're going to be okay for the rest of the week looking at the weather forecast, but you never know. Look how peak that is.
And that's the leader. Join us again tomorrow at 4pm for the latest news, analysis, interviews and features.